Okay, so now Island's running pretty smoothly and it's taking maybe a generation or two to get to this stage, but people are happy and uh, we're no longer have reason for war. Well, there's a lot of money to be saved if there's no reason for war. If we actually see ourselves as one planet, one one people, one one um, species, and um, you know, there's no reason to fight amongst ourselves. So slowly we get rid of all those little people that have been making a fortune off arms and all the production of arms. We go, well, we have to produce something else. And well, again, we've already raised the standard of everyone's on the on the planets. So maybe we don't need to have that that particular type of job. Maybe we'll put more into technology, uh, making things you know more solar energy and stuff. So we go even less on things like the, all any of the fossil fuels are still being used. Hopefully, coal's are totally gone by then. Hopefully. Um, Nuclear is totally gone by then. You know, maybe we're finishing up on the oil and uh, maybe we're, you know, using, still using some gas, but maybe we're finding other ways to tap the sun's energy and, and the wind's energy and the ocean's tide's energy and figuring ways to, to get to what we need to make everything run, although we're putting less pressure on running it, so that'll help too. So, so energy-wise, we're running okay. Population-wise, we're running okay resources on the planet are now sustainable and, and actually improving, you know, we're restocking the oceans and, and the animals and the crops and and um, so things are happening, right? They're, they're improving, uh, cleaning our water systems up as a result. So there's more fresh water everywhere and figuring ways to, to actually, you know, so we used to run lines for phone companies and and, and uh, stuff like that. Why aren't we running water lines if we have to to certain areas, you know? They'll go across the oceans just as easily, right? Now. So oh, there's ways to fix it. Um, so now what do we do, if, you know, where do we tap our energies? Well, maybe we were see that maybe it's time for us to more expand to, to going off planet as well. So that if the ice age ever comes, we're there, we're prepared. We've already maybe found that other Goldilocks place and figured a way to get there or, you know, um, to seed it for us for the future um, or, or, you know, um, your way to go onto some of the planets that aren't too far away, but find a way to survive on them and, and set up, you know, sub, sub places there. Um, so, you know, now where do all these opinions and thoughts come from? You know, should I have them? Why not? But are they original? Probably not. What I'm saying to me is original, but doesn't mean others haven't said it or said it better with more facts. But, um, I also wonder, back to the earlier one, near the beginning, thoughts. I actually wonder if these thoughts are supposed to kind of come out of us through the generations. And maybe we're imprinted with the knowledge in here. And we all know that we use, what, 10% is the number I hear tossed around. Someone can correct me, it might be 8, maybe 12, I don't know. And maybe some of the geniuses use 15, 20. Um, but obviously, maybe there's a reason we're not allowed to tap into the other part of our brains yet. Maybe that's again is going to evolve, and down the road we're going to be using more and more and more. Maybe one, at one point we will be using 100%, which will be you know um, probably super incredible with what thoughts we have and how we have them. And, and I'm sure they'll be five times, six times, seven times what they are now, right? So I guess we're at 10%. Uh, Ten. 10 times, <laughs> so 10 times the thoughts that we're able to come up with now. And um, and that might be why we've been seated and why we've been allowed to develop. Maybe we're supposed to do this and now down the road we'll be that alien to another planet and we'll be seeding it and starting it out. Maybe it's impossible to travel the distance, but maybe it's not impossible to send. You know, how do you send? Well, I have thoughts like, Again, thoughts will get meteors flying by. People are talking about mining me uh, meteors now. Well, what if we put stuff on them so that the meteor we fit calculate is going to land on that Goldilocks planet that we want? And we get to the right meteor and we put stuff on it so that when it hits, we're there too, or, or our um, our genes are there, or something's there that can eventually grow out of the oceans there, or grow out of, out of the land there, and um, evolve. And uh, yeah. There's some more thoughts. And maybe we'll stop for now. It's quite a bit one day.